Ink Ribbon. I am in the Uber heading towards the airport and uh, I'm a little nervous, but I'm very excited, which is very unlike me because I don't like to travel. I'm a nervous flyer, but I think everything's gonna be all right. It's only an hour and a half flight, so Vegas, baby. So I know this is weird, but my flight is leaving from the like VIP terminal, which is really, really tiny and super fancy. Uh, okay, sure. <laughs> of course, because why not? So somehow I ended up booking through some other company that does these small fancy charter jets for rich people or something. I don't know, I didn't question it, but it was crazy. I didn't even have to go through security, I just walked right onto the tarmac and onto the plane and I was on my way. I mean really though, look how small this plane was. It was like being on a private jet. I know this sounds stupid, but I really am a nervous flyer, so my new ritual is to film every takeoff and landing. I don't know why, but it comforts me, so enjoy this shot of taking off from California. Dear God, we're all gonna die. playing Crisis Core on my Vita at the moment, so I brought that along to get some gaming in. And just like that, an hour and a half later, I am already in Las Vegas, ready to have a great trip and meet some very cool people. After we landed, they put us in these shuttle buses and drove us to the terminal. I really have no idea what's going on, but as long as I get to my hotel. Alright. And we're in the hotel room. Let's see the view. Holy fuck, I am so high up. Oh my god. I'm on the 33rd floor and I don't like heights. Why did I say yes? All right, well, I guess uh, I'm gonna go meet everyone and go walk around the strip. I completely feel like I'm in Dead Rising too. So if you've ever wondered what being in Las Vegas is like, it's a lot of walking around like this and looking at stuff and following people from one place to another. Or gambling everything you own, but that's not really my style. After this, I had some free time to explore since the residents of Evil Guys hadn't arrived yet, so I decided to just walk around and be a tourist. So I know this is super basic of me, but I'm heading towards the Bellagio because one, that's a really good meeting spot, but two, I just love the Bellagio fountains. I love them so much and I can't tell you why. They're just like, wow. 
And after walking about 5 miles in boots, I realized I was dying because I needed calories, so I stopped and had some veggies and a margarita pizza. Hey everyone, I ran into the first person, Andy. And if you don't know Andy from Biohazard to Classified, this is him. And uh, we're just wandering around Vegas looking for food. Because that's what you do. It's just an absolute mess. Oh, Corey just landed. Sweet. That means JJ landed, right? Yeah, I think I flat skip. Alright, more people soon. Oh. We're in the Uber and we are now heading to Susie's house and now I'm going to meet Susie for the first time. I think we both are. Yeah, that's going to be exciting. Can't wait. Ah, yay, social anxiety, but <laughs> I think it'll be a lot of fun. Uh-oh. Hey! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Right. Go for the brown! Oh, what are we doing? Yeah. Let's explore that. Right. Go. Where they lived. I just they wanted to show people that we all actually met. Right. Yeah. Just, I don't know, it's just I wanted to... Hi guys. My... I'm filming this like a vlog. That's oh, a yeah, you did vlog. After having a great talk with everyone, we headed back to the strip to get some food because once again, we were all starving. And we ended up at Yellowtail in Bellagio. 10 out of 10 if you like sushi. Highly recommend. Also, you have to try the roll that has Pop Rocks in it. I know it sounds weird, but they will tell you. It's amazing. I would, yeah. Now, unfortunately, I had to mute the audio here because the restaurant was blaring copyrighted music, but don't worry, we were just talking about all of Capcom's secrets and all of the uh, unreleased Resident Evil stuff that you guys don't know about yet. It's no big deal. So we unintentionally got a great one with Andy tried sushi for the first time and he liked it. Learned his favorite. After eating some delicious sushi, we walked around the Bellagio Gardens and this place smelled absolutely amazing. But of course, I wanted to go see the fountain, so I had everyone humor me and we headed that way. The song that we got wasn't the best, it was like some Italian opera song or something, but some of the performances are crazy and they fire the water like a hundred feet into the air, it's really awesome. And this is where the night began to go in a different direction because even though I told everyone I wasn't going to drink, when you're in Vegas, it's inevitable that some partying is going to happen. I'm having my first white claw. You gotta, you gotta always go. Yay! 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 Check out this view. Oh, yeah. How do you like it? Just wait until you touch the bidet, Andy. It's kind of like it's like Lacroix but drunk. I shouldn't be drinking. He's going to die. I'm not supposed to be doing this. Woo! <laughs> That's been in your video. <laughs> it's his phone. And that was the last video I took before we all got absolutely plastered. You can't tell, but I am completely dehydrated, exhausted, feeling like I could throw up at any minute, and if I slightly tilt my head, it feels like the whole earth suddenly rotates. So I decided to go for the most scientifically proven hangover cure, a full breakfast. So you guys know that meme of like when the couple across the bar asked if you want to join them, literally just happened to me.
this couple just came up to me and I think they might have been German. And they're like, oh, where are you from? And blah, blah, blah. And then they're like, you're really, really cute. Like, we'd love to like get in bed with you. They were so direct. And I was just like, ah, and I ran away. After not learning my lesson the first time, I walked another few miles in my boots and nearly passed out from hunger. So I stopped and had a burger. At this point, my feet were actually in like severe pain and combined with my hangover and lack of calories, I knew I had to take drastic measures to make sure I was in good shape for the movie. Got the ink ribbon shirt and I am waiting for my Uber to take me to the movie theater. This is it. Finally happening. I don't know what to expect. Ah. Here we are. There it is. And here's the crazy thing is we ended up getting a uh, private screening. So we're going to have the whole theater to ourselves, which was like an amazing surprise. This trip has just been crazy. So uh, I guess we'll maybe be able to film during the movie. I mean, not film the movie, but you know what I mean. Oh, Jesus. Everyone, everyone's here except Susie. How's it going, man? All right. Oh my god, we're like, we're gonna go watch, we're like YouTube movie. Waiting on our captain, Jesse. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's freezing, so let's. <laughs> So yeah, having the entire theater to ourselves was kind of a holy shit moment, but I was so excited that we were all going to finally see this movie. Very nice. Your ad can be the star of the show. Reach your customers on the big screen in a distraction-free environment. We have the whole theater. This is amazing. Download the new VRK app and give it Three months later. So we're back at Susie's. We just finished watching the movie and we are all getting ready to do the Residents of Evil live stream podcast thingy, which will be in the description below if you want to hear everything we have to say about watching the movie. Oh, yeah, hi. <laughs> now, I'll probably save my review for a separate video, but here are a few snippets from the live stream we did if you want the bridge notes. Don't worry, no spoilers. Let's get into Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City. So first, I just want to kind of do like an overall thoughts walking out of the theater. Real quick, your initial thoughts on the movie and then we'll get into actually breaking it down and discussing it. So we're going to start over on this end with Kai. What is your initial thoughts on this uh, movie? Special thank you to people who are sending me spoilers, by the way. Very appreciated. But, <laughs> like, everyone online was just, it's bad, it's bad, it's bad. And I was, like, doing my best to be optimistic, but in the back of my head, I was like, ugh. And I actually enjoyed it a lot more than I thought it would. And I'll explain why later. But, like, I, like, I liked it. Tony, if you want to jump in, what is your initial thoughts of the movie? Oh, Tony, are you okay? You want to take a minute? Get him some water. Our hearts go out to those poor civilians of Raccoon City. But um, I want to cover first before we go, I want to go through the positive of what things stood out to you that you guys liked the most. And then after we go through this, what things you did not like, what did not work for the movie. So we will um, come back around again to Kai. Kai, what things did you like the most about this movie? I was taking notes, okay? That's good. So, what he said about the Easter eggs, you guys know I love my Easter eggs. Oh my god, almost every shot had something in the background and some sort of reference or like whatever. And I was just like, aha, oh. like, like every five seconds I was like, hey, it's that thing. Um, the other thing is uh, the set designs were fantastic. And I'm sure mm -hmm. you guys will elaborate on that. And another thing 
is uh, you guys know I like my lore. I like to look at the characters' backstories and, and learn more about them. This movie, while it's definitely not canon, uh, gives us the opportunity to really explore and actually see uh, certain things, like, uh, without spoilers, like, you know, more about Chris and Claire uh, growing up, uh, you know, more about other characters, and it, it, it felt very realized. Um, and that's that's something that I, I really like. And a lot of the depictions of the events were a lot more realistic and less sort of action movie than we're used to. And it, it was it was nice. Like some moments were like me and Andy were saying it's like, whoa, like that was like that was real. Yeah. Try to uh, keep her going here, but uh, Kai, what things did you just not work for you in this Wait, movie? Are we, are we not in spoilers yet? Non spoilers okay. yet. After this just part, the general, like, we made you, yeah, yeah. Um, Aside from the Chris zombie I mentioned earlier. Oh, oh God. <laughs> so, uh, going to the, to the remix stuff, some of it was really good, mm -hmm. where it was like, as a Resident Evil fan, you're like, you know, I never thought of it, but that's actually a really interesting idea. I kind of dig that. And then there was stuff where you were like, what were yeah. they, what like mm. it just didn't make any sense at all and some of it was like in a cool way where it was just so ridiculous that you're like okay sure and then some of it you're just like oh my god like what did they do no that was there was a point in the movie and i don't mean to cut you off but literally we're like something happened and we all just looked at each other and we're all like <laughs> yeah like all of us in the theater were like oh my god what like, what uh, like it was mutual the the face in the hands was mutual between everybody but i'm sorry to cut you off continue uh, i can't wait to get to the spoilers you guys yeah oh my yeah. god so many things to say um i mean that's actually pretty much it without i can't I, everything yeah. spoilers i yeah. can't see anything. yeah Good morning, everyone. This is the last day. I have a flight in a couple hours. Oh, this is so much fun, but I'm so tired. And I can't wait to go back to my computer. <laughs> but um, I do have to say it was really, really cool. <clears throat> like meeting everyone in person we just constantly kept going through this cycle like every every person would just randomly be like can you guys believe this is really happening like we're really meeting and everyone's like i know this is so fun like the whole time we just i still can't believe it but i've never taken a plane trip to watch a movie before but now i can cross that off my bucket list now, I am going to go get some coffee and pack all my stuff and check in and check out and, you know, all the travel stuff and let's see what my flight back is like. Although, I'm sure it's going to be great. <laughs> Just like that, I was headed back home. It's very rare that I ever travel, but this was an opportunity that I just couldn't say no to, and I am so glad I went. If you guys want to know how any of these content creators are in real life, I am telling you, they are the coolest people you'll ever meet, and the amount of Resident Evil nerdiness was just overflowing. I hope that we get to do this again someday, and I think I made some great friends on this trip. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you're all having a great day. Until next time, I'm Kai Morgan, and as always, thanks for watching Ink Ribbon.
And a very special thank you to all of my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Your extra support means the world to me and helps me keep making content for you guys.